This World AIDS Day, women have reason to be optimistic that a new era may be at hand, one in which they would have access to a discreet and long-acting form of protection against HIV. We saw an important step forward for women's health early this year when results were reported from two major studies, the Ring Study and Aspire, which evaluated whether a vaginal ring that slowly releases an ARV drug called Depivirine could prevent HIV. The ring, which was developed by the non-profit International Partnership for Microbicides, would be replaced each month by women themselves. Both the Ring study as well as the Aspire study showed that the ring is safe. And both have proven efficacy. And that's what we need for a licensure program. In both the Ring study and Aspire, the risk of HIV infection was about one third lower among women who used the Depivirine ring. In Aspire, women who used the ring most consistently saw their HIV risk cut by more than half. After years of research, the HIV prevention field now has an effective, discreet, and long-acting tool specifically designed for women. A moment worth celebrating? Most certainly. We finally got a, a product that will help us, uh, uh, will help protect women against HIV. And we are so very happy that, yeah, our journey has been worthwhile. We've achieved. We've achieved what we were thriving for. In July, the Microbicide Trials Network, which conducted Aspire, released further analyses that suggested the ring could reduce HIV risk by 75% or more with near-perfect use. Although protection in the trials overall was quite modest, when women used the ring consistently, they were well protected. And so although there's not going to be a silver bullet to end this epidemic, this ring could give women an urgently needed new option for HIV protection. Oh, this is the most amazing news to know that our ring works, that it, that it prevents HIV. And this is something women can do for themselves. After results were announced, our first duty was to launch open label extension studies to allow former participants in the ring study and Aspire to use the active ring. Open label studies of HIV prevention products often see higher levels of efficacy because women now know that these products are safe and offer protection so that they're more likely to use it consistently. And these products must be used consistently in order for them to work well. As the regulatory sponsor, our goal is to license the product in developing countries where the epidemic has taken its greatest toll. We will submit to the Medicines Control Council in South Africa and to other regulators such as the European Medicines Agency and the Food and Drug Administration to help achieve pre-qualification from the World Health Organization, which many African countries require. IPM is working with governments, donors, communities, women and other partners to explore how the ring, if licensed, could best fit into HIV prevention programs. We are also planning for the manufacture of the ring with Q Pharma in Sweden. The story of the Depivirine ring began more than a decade ago, and our deepest thanks go to all those who have walked alongside IPM, the women in the studies and communities, donors, fellow researchers, our civil society partners, and many others. Together, we must build on the global collaborations that got us to this point as we advance the ring and work to expand women's HIV prevention options.